So Jock Windath is speaking to the media again. A really interesting thing what he said actually. Hello and welcome to this video and hope you are well. So Jock Windath, he had been talking about uh, us and basically what's going on. It's really interesting seeing what he's saying and stuff. And he basically turned around and said, once we stop these silly goals going in, he reckons we'll be fine. He told Guy Bet uh, about stepping up to championship. And he went, obviously the results don't suggest that, that, but most of us have played in this league before. We know what to expect. We have been conceding silly goals and everyone gets highlighted a lot more than... More when you're losing games. We probably conceded goals like that last year in League One, but we weren't. We were scoring more and winning, so we're, they weren't highlighted. And he's right. We probably were conceding goals like that, but we were scoring. And once you're scoring like that, it helps. Like in the playoff final, we weren't that good, but as soon as he stepped up to get that goal, it's like a rocket went off and we got it all done. Also, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Like and help the algorithm. Share and get some point people facing and subscribing. Let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. But we'll go back to what Josh has said here. Uh, he went on to say that we want to win as many games as possible this season. We don't want to be down at the bottom of the league fighting to stay up. Obviously, it's the case. Then we'll assess it and it'll be a different outlook. But now there's only been three games and people get carried away with the start of the season quite a lot. Obviously, you want to get your first win on the board very quickly, push on, and we'll be trying to win as many as possible. Personally, I just want to do our best, and I can for the team and score as many goals as possible. Uh, obviously, it's easy to go when the team are winning, you're playing better football, but as it stands, we need to get the team together and focus. Windass needs two more goals come to view to hit 50 goals and assists for the club. Hopefully, he can do that at the weekend. Now, yes, he was left out of the starting lineup on... Uh, Saturday. We know that. He was left out on the starting lineup. He was on the bench and didn't come in. He was unused sub. Fine. That happens. That football. I get it. But the thing is, what I got is that he can step up and do this. And we've shown it. The problem is, I think he's been played a little bit out of position at the moment. Uh, we need to kind of figure out where some people sit. And again, I'll say it again. And it, get, people are going to get sick of me saying it. September, international break. It'll be treated by another preseason. Could be the making of what does because we'll have the players in that he hopefully wants, uh, and we'll go from there. Let's just back the lads. It's, it's someone like um, Josh Windack keep coming out and saying these things. This is the second time he's done an interview like this one with, with, with the club, uh, for the press conference, and now today, uh, speaking to Guy Bet. It's not the first time he'd come out and said this. It's not the first time where he's gone, I got confidence in us as players that we can do this. I'd be more worried if they were coming out, if they, if he, it was like saying it, and you could tell that the confidence wasn't there. Um, I think Windass is quite a confident person. Someone like a Windass, a Barry Bannon, those senior heads are going to really help in that situation. So let's just see what happens. And he's right though, they are silly goals. We need to get tighter in defence. And the quicker we can get tighter in the defence, the better. 